Hello! How the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here bringing you another episode of Rise SMP and today we are gonna have, we're gonna start our massive plans um, and actually renovating this base. And you know, the very, very first step in doing so is probably to um, make up a, a chest area. So I haven't really uh, been planning this too much. I'm kind of just recording on the fly because that is how I roll. And I just, that's basically how I love to record the series. Like I love to kind of give you guys the input that's going through my head, that is going throughout uh, the, you know, just throughout as I'm planning everything. And as you guys may have noticed, I have expanded a little bit. I've done a little bit of mining. I might ha still have to clear up some of this uh, stone, obviously. But what I want to happen in this side over here is so there's going to be a huge entranceway, of course. And then when I look to the right, this will be like a little bit of a V-shaped uh, area here. And then I'm going to have a bunch of, uh, a cra or what's it called, an enchanting table right here with a bunch of bookshelves around it, which will get us a level 30 enchant. And then I plan on making something like this entrance over here, like a really, really big window. So it'll look really, really nice because it's like kind of out looking into the water, into the lake, and it'll just look like it's like a nice scenic view when you're trying to enchant. So this is like my little enchanting room over here. I haven't really expanded on it because I don't know exactly how I'm even going to like manage all of that yet. So there's a lot of stuff that needs to be planned. There's a lot of stuff that needs to be kind of pre-planned and done off of camera. But that's basically what that section is. But what I wanted to discuss with you guys today is my automatic or my huge automatic um, cow, not cow, huge automatic item sorter. So the thing is for this middle section right here. Uh, I'm going to be digging this like way far into this cave system. I want to make a huge uh, item sorting system, like an entire, maybe like a total of a hundred double chest wall or something. I don't even know if it's going to be that massive, but like a total, like a really, really big chest wall that basically lets me, um, lets me put an item into like one chest and then like a system will automatically sort that that chest or that item into into a bunch of different chests so I don't have to actually manually uh, sort out items so that's like that'd be perfect for if I'm going cave mining and I need to uh, I need to just drop off everything really really quickly it'd be a really really nice way to just empty out my inventory without having to spend five ten minutes of my time to actually sort out everything by myself so there's a lot of stuff uh, involved with uh, this planning and I'm actually gonna need a lot Lot of more materials so I don't know if you guys want me to do some mining on camera or off camera so uh, in the comment section below right now guys uh, leave it in the comments do you guys want me to do some actual mining episodes or should I just do that all off camera so as you guys might know if you guys are familiar with all of my videos I am nearing uh, my summer break very very shortly and that means I will be able to record more so if you guys do want me to record those like mining episodes where I kind of just talk about a random subject talk about my life whatever it is I'll give you guys a uh, you guys can even leave comments on what kind of topics you guys want me to talk about. But yeah, if you guys want me to do those types of episodes where I kind of mine and just talk, uh, leave it in the comment sections below. Or I could just mine off of camera and kind of uh, just record all of the important stuff. So all of the important stuff like actually making the room, you know, all of that. Just let me know what you guys want in the comments below. You guys are just loving this series. You, there's a steady following uh, for, from you guys now and I love er like every single one of you guys who who do so like it's just amazing so um, if you guys could imagine right here it is gonna take some time and um, I'm gonna have something sort of like this v-shape but in this middle section it'll sort of just be like a straight um, like a straight I, I don't know if I, I could call it like a just a straight channel going straight down and what I why I wanted to do that was because obviously I needed to uh, I need a lot of room because each chest like the most common the most common um, automatic chest sorters they don't really uh, sort out multiple items into a single chest and if they do I just haven't found that video yet or I haven't found or seen that type of video anywhere so I'll have to I'll have to do some uh, some research to kind of uh, look at uh, if there are multiple item sorter stuff so I'm kind of just I need a lot of iron so um, an item sorting 
mechanism, I guess you could say, or a redstone mechanism for item sorting is really, really iron dependent. I need a lot of iron armor, or not iron armor, I need a lot of iron ingots, and I need a lot of wood, but since we, we just upgraded our wood farm, I have been collecting that very, very frequently, and I've got like three or four stacks of wood, which is not enough for right now, but obviously if I need some more, it's like it's just a step away quickly right over there if I ever do need any more wood so there's a lot of stuff to do a lot of stuff to be kind of um, kind of mining out and I don't really want to show just mining out this entire base area on camera because that might be boring for you guys even though you guys might love listening to me talk but I'm probably just gonna this is gonna be the one episode where I'm kind of just mining out everything because I'm kind of just laying out the plans to you guys on what I want to do with my home base so we're gonna continue and go ahead with that um, the sort of farm uh, what was it called kind of go with the farm that we were speaking of or the base that we were speaking of a couple episodes ago kind of like that try triforce area where there's like one branch that way a middle branch and then one large branch going that way we'll kind of follow that sort of general theme I guess um, for this for this build it's just gonna be a lot of off-camera work or on-camera work depending on what you guys want and uh, yeah that's basically what I wanted to do uh, for my base, I haven't really, um, I haven't really checked anything of my shop. Actually, I should do that towards the end of this episode. I'm gonna go restock my shop to see if anybody's bought anything. I'm not even sure. We 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 did do that wither episode last, uh, the last episode that we released. So that was really really fun. One of the first or one of the uh, yeah one of the first big group recordings that we did on Rise, which is uh kind of long awaited. Everybody was kind of just really really busy with uh you know life and everything. So we kind of we kind of all just kind of agreed that we were gonna do something uh, very soon so we we decided to do that wither fight and I hopefully you guys did enjoy it they banned me off of the server and my recording nearly crashed but I, I managed to save it so hopefully you guys got a couple of laughs uh, from that wither fight uh, it was very very fun I did get my 11th death because uh, Gabe decided to start messing around after the recording so I have 11 deaths now successfully well not really successfully but sadding sadding <laughs> it's not even a word it's very sad that i finally hit my 10 death mark which is uh i was trying to prevent it but you know what it was all it was all in good fun we all had fun and it was a nice uh it was a nice night for recording so yeah i'm gonna be mining out this entire area here I, as obvious like i i mined out this entire area off camera which took a long time actually and all these blocks just take really really long to kind of uh mine up so i need to to kind of do a lot of this work off camera unless you guys want me to be talking <laughs> talking about random subjects while I work on this big project but yeah I'm basically just clearing out this entire room that's kind of what we've been working on and I am actually using an efficiency for silk touch one pick and the reason why I, I put silk touch on this pickaxe I've had this pickaxe for a while but I never found a use for it but the reason I'm doing that now is because I can get the stone and actually make them into uh, stone bricks, which I will be using to obviously build. And it's a nice little, it's a nice little addition to what I am currently doing. And it just uh, prepares me uh, even further already than I already have. And um, I actually did a couple of my blaze farm. Like I did my blaze farm, got a couple of stacks of uh, blaze rods. And I didn't know this, but you could use blaze rods for um, for powering stuff, it, which is really really cool. I never knew that. Never. Never figured that out until just recently. So um, that is my that is my go to um, go to fuel source for the moment, and uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and continue using that until I need to switch it up or whatever. So see, as you guys can see, it even takes me a couple of seconds here just to kind of uh, sort through all these chests, and this is the reason why I want to make a massive chest sorting wall. So this wall back here. I kind of want to make it a lot further back if this is the middle I kind of need to center it as well so if this is the middle of the cave I kind of want to clear out that entire back section and I want to make like maybe like some sort of roof or some sort of dome in this area I really need my per own personal beacon so I'm kind of um, I'm kind of deliberating whether or not I want to try to kill a wither solo and uh, get that wither skull or not the wither skull, the nether star, so then I can make the beacon by myself. And I really need to do that just so I can mine faster. I can have a haste to beacon um, set up in my base right here, and then I can basically just mine um, as fast as I can. So this it'll help with clearing stuff, basically. Um, I'm not sure if we're on the current version of Minecraft where I think uh, there's something called haste to potions. But I'm not sure if that's just like an MCMMO plugin sort of thing or if that's on vanilla Minecraft. I'll have to look that up because that would be really, really cool to have. Um, 
while we're mining out this area so i'm kind of just uh yeah mining out this big entire area giving you guys my plans for my big item sorter as i said or as i've mentioned a lot of times in the past i'm not the i'm not the best with redstone so this will this will be one of the big tests for me i guess or one of the big things that'll take me out of my comfort zone uh during this entire uh you know this entire rise sort of uh episode or rise series and i love giving myself challenges and i'll also love entertaining you guys at the same time so it'll be a nice it'll be a nice little uh addition so i'm gonna do that that actual the full tutorial for that episode will probably be over like one or two big episodes and then uh depending on the feedback that we get on those episodes i'll probably do just a, a separate a whole separate video on how to do that sort of uh, tutorial so there's a lot of tutorials out there already but I, I will do one for my fans if you guys request for one obviously so uh, yeah so a big item sorting area here we're obviously gonna have uh, like an enchanting table enchanting room sort of stuff is associated with that there I'm probably gonna have to move my prisoners very soon so if I take a peek at whoa there's an iron golem in there that's so cool <laughs> there's an iron golem in there now I want to take a look at it I want to name it I still don't have any name tags but I want to name this what should we name it we're gonna name it Sally Sally the iron golem they, they there's enough villagers in here I guess that it spawns in these uh, golems now so how many do we have we have one two uh, three four five six oh wait, no let's go okay one two Okay, I lost count already. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It looks like we have nine, nine, ten. We have ten. We have ten villagers so far. I don't know why they're not breeding as fast as I'd like them to. Like, I need to... Ooh, look, they're trading food. Did you guys see that? He threw the bread and they're trading food. So, yeah, I don't really know exactly... Um, what the mechanisms are for their breeding system but i've i've successfully breeded a couple so we're just gonna go ahead and let them chill in there but we're probably gonna have to end up moving them in the near future and uh that'll probably be i don't even know if i'll do that on camera that's a really it's a pain in the butt to deal with villagers i don't know why i put myself under all that pressure and i, I just want to breed villagers and to make some uh automatic farms but i haven't been able to get any farmer villagers apart from the one that's already in there so i'll probably just have to keep waiting like i've been waiting for uh zombie villagers to spawn or zombie testificates to spawn whatever you guys want to call it if you guys want to get all fancy fancy but yeah i'm waiting for them to spawn and i kind of just do the little transformation trick with the weakness potion i don't think i've shown one of those on camera so i might actually do that uh in a in a future episode to kind of show the little transformation process it's really really fun to, fun to watch it really it takes some time but it's it's really cool how it just transforms uh, in front of your eyes it kind of just like morphs so yeah this is basically what we're going to be discussing today just discussing my plans for this base with you oh god i need to put torches here they're spawning how did they even spawn here it's all bright all right let me put a torch here i'm just gonna torch up this entire area because obviously we don't want any stuff to spawn here while we are away uh, do i have any torch i don't have any torches let me make some real quick uh there we go go ahead and make some torches so nothing spawns actually i kind of want some stuff to spawn kind of sort of because i do want um i do want some villager zombies which is uh really nice so we're gonna go ahead and end this episode we're gonna go ahead and travel to our shop see if we've made any moolah off of that so right before we do that let's grab some stuff that we want to sell and i'm actually gonna start selling ice let me bring some signs so i can make uh, new signs. I'll, I'll have four stacks of ice to sell. So maybe people will find a use for that um, Let me see what else I could sell uh, Kind of just go through all of my chests here. I don't need to sell wool. I don't think anybody will buy wool um, Iron ingots I might replenish I have a stack here, so I'm gonna keep I'm gonna go sell a stack of that um, I'm gonna sell mine carts or mine rails that I'm pretty sure that'll do that'll give me some business because some people haven't even made their uh their nether cart yet and I'm, i think i'm the old, one of the only ones who has their nether cart actually done so let me see if there's anything else i'm gonna take that chicken i can sell that chicken um apples carrots i could take the carrots i guess i don't really need carrots here apples not really uh anything else here let's go ahead and empty out i've been emptying out my steaks very frequently actually so only two stacks of steaks to sell right there uh let me drop this stuff i don't need it 
And let me go ahead and feed the cows right before I go ahead and continue. This area lags me so much because of all the cows here, but I love it. And uh, I actually need to show you guys something. I upgraded my, or I changed up my, um, my cow farm, or my chicken farm a little bit, just so that, um... Basically, the chickens kept getting out and the chickens kept getting stuck under cages. So I decided to move all of my chickens underneath into like a little cave area, which makes it so that they don't get suffocated. None of the mobs get in there. Just all of that good stuff. So I'll show you guys that right after I feed my cows. It's just so these start breeding and uh, giving more giving more babies. So look, if you guys can take a quick look here, this cow farm works perfectly. It's like they're all just flowing in there and collecting up the stuff. I've got a lot of leather. And I could use that leather, leather to make books in the near future. So that's going to be really cool. So if you guys remember, I had my chicken farm here. I changed it up a little bit. And now all the chickens are in this little pen right over here, which is uh, keeps them in a nice little area. I'm going to go ahead and feed them because I want, I want like 2,000 chickens in this area. It's going to lag it, but I want all these chickens to kind of uh, massively produce uh, eggs, and which will in turn turn into obviously into chicken and that'll just go into my chicken shop kind of similar to what Kyle has I'm pretty sure mine was built first though and I think no boom had the first automatic chicken so there we go feeding those chickens make them multiply and then obviously those lead into a quick hopper system that leads into this chest and I just need to break this if I ever need to collect eggs but then they get uh, sorted into like a redstone mechanism which shoots out the eggs there's a lot of chickens here you guys just saw right there that something grows and then a cooked chicken ends up over here, and that's basically how this entire mechanism works. So, yeah, so that is how that works. We're going to go ahead, uh, pick up everything that we need to go sell. So we're going to go to the shop now and see if uh, we actually made any profits. Uh, I haven't changed up anything with this shop recently, and I don't think, I don't plan to anytime soon. I have um, other big projects to worry about, basically. And uh, we're gonna go ahead, head straight to the house. Hopefully, people have bought stuff, and if they have, we're gonna be re gonna be really, really happy. Um, the blaze farm, as I said, was over there that I made, which is really, really nice. Everybody can uh, level up now whenever they need to. And we'll go ahead. And uh, Kyle has actually told me that he's gonna start working on spawn a little bit more. Um, we're starting, we're still kind of trying to gather all the materials needed to make our spawn more beautiful. But of course, my beautiful little house is all over here. And that's all I kind of really need. So we're gonna go ahead and head inside. Let's put the steak. So it looks like it looks like somebody somebody bought some steak right there because um, some of the steak was like misplaced or missing. Uh, iron ingots. Ooh, somebody bought iron ingots for sure. So there's two stacks of iron ingots in there. I actually want to fix this up a little bit. Let's go ahead and do that and then put those there. So we have two stacks of iron ingots. So. One stack of ingots is one diamond. Uh, baked potato. Looks like nobody bought baked potato. There's Our cooked pork chops is running out. Uh, redstone. Stack of oak planks. Uh, Alright, so what should we change? Let's change this. We don't need mine carts in here anymore. Um, let's put this sign. This will be... Um, let's do the ice. Right? Let's do ice. So let's do 16 ice equals 5 iron ingots. So let's go ahead and do that. We can put the ice in here. That'll be a nice little addition to our shop in case people... A lot of people do use ice, so that's a really, really nice addition to have the shop. Uh, let's go ahead and put... I have the stick in there. Where's my chicken? Cooked chicken. Oh, I have a lot of chicken. My chicken is starting to pile up, which is really nice. So let's go ahead. Um, what can we change? Let's change... Um, actually, we could just use this chest right here. Let's put... Here. Rail carts. Oops, let's go ahead and do this. Rail carts. Oops, I spelled that wrong. Uh, do, 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 do. Rail carts. Or not rail carts, railroad tracks. Whatever, they, they'll know what that means. Price. Let's do uh, 16 rail carts. 16 tracks. I can't spell today, holy crap. 16 tracks equals... So it takes 9 iron ingots to make one... No, it takes... One, two, three. It takes six iron ingots to make a uh, train track. I think uh, train track Minecraft. Let's let's take a quick look. A rail. It's called a railing. That's what it's called. Yeah, it takes six iron ingots to make one. So if we did six iron ingots, six times sixteen. Let's put up a calculator. Six times sixteen is ninety-six iron ingots. So that should be sixteen train tracks. Should be like one diamond. 
because that's a, that's a stack that's almost a stack of that's a, that's actually more than a stack of iron so let's do uh 64 divided by six and that's 10 okay so we'll do 10 tracks equals one diamond and some people might think that's that's expensive oops i need to change that oops so price 10 tracks equals one diamond so that might be that might look expensive but the reason that is is because it takes six um six uh iron ingots to actually make a track and people might think that that's very expensive but then they'll realize that it takes a lot of materials to actually make these uh rail cards so they'll they'll they'll, they'll go ahead and purchase that if they need it and uh yeah so let's go ahead and go into our collection area hopefully somebody's bought i'm, I'm pretty sure we, we're gonna get something in there at least because there there looked like there was stuff uh, missing we'll go ahead and head down here hey we have nine diamonds nice we got some purchases done got nine diamonds this shop is going very well it's a very very good that people actually bought stuff i'm pretty sure it was the iron ingots that people bought and uh yeah that's very very nice Ooh, look we've got let's let's take a quick look around spawn real quick right before we end this episode so it looks like we've got uh what is this this looks like i think this is kyle's um kyle's oh no 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 oh my god mistakes were made i will repair that off of camera i'm so sorry holy crap i tried to explode it right i tried to kill it and it didn't kill itself in time so here you go this is uh data's data's fried chicken 64 chicken is eight iron ingots wow look at this this is a really really cool farm what does he have down here he's got a whole bunch of mechanisms down here holy crap well done kyle all right so that's the end of today's episode guys hopefully you guys enjoyed make sure you guys hit that like how do i get out of here is this a trap <laughs> i can't get out of here <laughs> Um, maybe I had to head like this way a little bit. I can't do, I need to break this thing and then I'll just replace it. Holy crap. All right. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode, guys. Make sure you guys leave a comment in the comment section below. I asked for a bunch of comments for a bunch of different things. So make sure you guys go ahead and do that for me. Um, once again, thank you guys for watching. I'm just kind of talking slow because I need to fix this trap chest of his. I need to fix this house over here too. So yeah, thank you for watching today's episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And we will see you guys.